Good day, and welcome to episode 17 of the second season of the Evil Empire. I'm Icon, and... Wow, I looked up the costs for that spaceship, and I wish I didn't do, I hadn't done that. So, first thing we're going to do from the day now uh, on is... Uh, <clears throat> I need more advanced components, like, uh, let's, let's make a permanent stockpile of 30. Because, um... Let's check out Rio. Um, somebody taking care of her? Okay, good. Um, because uh, so many of the, these parts just need insane amount of amounts of uh, advanced components. So first up, I figured out we're going to need a uh, fission reactor to just uh, put up some power. So 20 advanced components alone for that. Um, we do might want to have some sensors too. So 24 for the advanced sensors. Life support systems, 12 advanced components. So uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna need a lot of uh, advanced components here. And um, here goes also the, the first parts of ship hull. So today I want to start with uh, the first parts of the ship because I feel like uh, it's about time. We are so deep in season two that I definitely feel like I want to start out. Um, the first thing that I want to do is uh, to create parts of the uh, outer hull of that ship. So, well, I'd say, well, we're not going to be that uh, narrow. We're going to be a little bit wider than that. So let's use this as a uh, as a designation of uh, of the uh, general width of this ship. You know, let's say we do might wanna. So let's do something like that. Because I would like to have some uh, some sort of aesthetics here, and then I hope uh, we're able to um, fit all the necessary things into the ship here one day. <laughs> one day that is. So here we go. The first uh, basic design here. Don't know if these uh, corners are really necessary, but it does feel uh, incomplete without those. So here we go. Okay, first start of the outer hull here. I felt like uh, I wanted to to finally get it, get the the ball rolling. You know, finally put these endless amounts of steel to good use. I really think that the uh, mechanoid intrusion is one of the best uh, biomes to get started if you want to uh, um, play a save or ship scenario. Because, <laughs> uh, well, at least the steel won't be an issue here, you know. Um, do I even. No. I got no materials for an iron dresser, so let's build one out of steel. Steel dresser, here we go. All right, so every piece of ship hull needs steel plus steel component and, and one component. That's uh, let alone that is such an such a heavy cost. Like uh, 14 steel per uh, tile, that's 62 here. Plus, well, we're plus 11 here, so 73 times 14. I don't really want to calculate that, but at least it's looking neat. <laughs> Yo, Lumpy, you lazy? Oh, well. There's uh, really nothing to smelter for him. Wow. That's been a while. A masterwork poker table. Hell yeah. 
So uh, recreation power 182%. That's what I like to see. I haven't uh, fully decided how the rear of this ship should look like, but uh, well, I, I think we're, we're not going any wider than that. Don't know how much longer we're going to be, but uh, not wider than that. All right, nice. Finally, the ship is uh, being started. Meanwhile, the search for valuable materials continues. I mean, sure, at least uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, steel showing up here. And as far as I see things here, steel is going to be one of the most important things. Oh yeah, also, let's put up some wall lights here while we're at it. So, uh, Yo Rio, she really doesn't uh, handle the, uh, the Alpha 1 life that well. So let's send Freeman to save her. Okay. So is there anything we could do for her? Not really, eh? Let's at least feed her. I like it how Freeman uh, actually just walked down there to grab a disgusting Nutri-Paste meal for Rio instead of a simple meal right next to the, uh, to the uh, medical room. It's the little things that count. Alright. So, uh, I wanted to put up some lamps. Let's put up regular lamps. I don't want any uh, colored shenanigans here. Oh, and also I want some power conduits here, obviously. There are none. I mentioned it before in my series, and I'll uh, mention it several times again, how much I like uh, a complete um, conduit network, because uh, this way I could uh, drop down uh, my turrets in these hallways if necessary. If there's ever uh, anything... well, okay. There's not going to be any infestations here, because I already uh, took care of that, that uh, little thumper thing here chews them away and uh, lets them come over the map. I like that. Okay. So meanwhile, research on recon armor is uh, running. I really want the, uh, the uh, marine armor here next. Because I feel... I don't feel uh, properly equipped, you know, for this point of the game. We have struck compacted machinery, hooray! That's what we needed the most, more components. Well, well, I don't want to be ungrateful. It's a couple of components we don't need to uh, craft up ourselves, so... It's beneficial after all. It's even 10 components, you know? So recoil is uh, already very very busy now on the uh, on the uh, fabrication bench here. Okay, I like that. So another thing we have to bring up for the ship is uh, the hull plating, and uh, hull plating is basically uh, the floor must be placed inside an outer hull. Okay, I can't do that yet before I have sealed off the outer hull, okay. It's basically the, the flooring for your ship. I guess I could just uh, do a, a piece of co uh, hull corner and uh, not do the uh, ship hull there. But at the same time, it does provide extra armor, I guess. Because space combat is also a thing, as far as I know. Okay. So finally the chunks are being hauled out of there. 
that's good. And let's fast forward a bit. So, what kind of uh, t uh, technology we're missing here? So, that's weapon technology mostly. EVA powered armor, well, we're, we would need the marine armor tech uh, to begin with. So, I think I do have all the necessary uh, technology parts to escape from this planet. That's a good, that's a good thing. Alright. So let's uh, check this out. Um, the Johnson Tanaka Drive, where is it at? Or is the research not complete there? Yeah, it is. How does it look like? Like that? Okay. No! My potato plants are blighted. Cut them down. And, uh, like, really, now. Now, now. Um, let's uh, check out the Johnson Tanaka Drive one more time, meanwhile. So, here it goes. Entanglement Manifold. What's that? And where do I get that? I gotta check that out. So, uh... Okay, that does uh, put me in front of some questions, though. Entanglement manifold. I've never heard of that. I think it would be, it sounds like a uh, piece of rare loot to begin with. Small rocket uh, engine that's uh, for the launch. But uh, where and how do I produce these uh, entanglement manifolds? Hmm, questions. Alright, so EVA uh, e equipment is uh, producible here. At least that's one thing. Uranium fuel pods are, do are producible here. It's another important thing. But, uh, well, really got to check out where I, uh, where I'm supposed to, uh, bring these things up here. So, uh, maybe, uh, Glitter World Tech. That might be an option. Maybe there's the necessary technology for that. Here's the uh, possibility of producing my own Persona Core. My own uh, Healer Max Serum, okay. But, uh, okay. Not the stuff I was looking for. Advanced Multi Analyzer, mmm. That's neat. Advanced Bionics, there's Robotics. Well, I could produce my own ro uh, robots by now. That's nice, isn't it? But seriously, I'd like to know where to fetch that uh, item from. So, well, maybe I'm going to check out uh, some internet research in between this and the next episode, because obviously I'm not able to find it out. Or maybe somebody helps me down in the comments, or both, who knows. Anyways, let's uh, just keep going. Maybe I need to uh, loot another uh, crash-landed ship to find that stuff. I mean, sometimes there are shipwrecks uh, hanging around somewhere. Rare Thrombos. 
<laughs> so, uh, five of them. Wow, that's a lot. Well, they will uh, end up in my uh, potato garden. They always do. So the question is, do I want to uh, punish them for that or not? But five thrombos are uh, quite a force to be uh, to be careful around. Maybe I won't be attacking them. Let's see. Maybe one of them will uh, will separate from the pack. That would be an option for me. Titanium hammer. Okay. Things that fall from the sky. All right. I have a hard time uh, bringing up enough uh, psychoid plants to uh, keep up a high stockpile of drugs here. So the uh, caffeine binge. The thrombos are uh, showing a behavior which enables uh, me to hunt them. That's good. Let's assert our dominance. Wait a sec. Olsen got no gun. Rio got no. You guys stop doing silly things, please. Alright. Let's uh, see that uh, Olsen is going to kite that thing. Well or not. Wow, up front. Taken down before it was able to uh, take one shot at my people or one blow. Very good. So uh, let's leave it with just one rumbo for now. And uh, Rio. Um, I hope she doesn't uh, equip um, a shield belt again. Like, come on. <laughs> Why? There's a thrumbo in the kitchen. And it's gonna be delicious. Okay, I'm so happy to see that uh, finally the ship is, make, is uh, being built. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about now is uh, the question where to uh, fetch that uh, weird manifold thingy from, but uh, well, I guess we're we're going to get an answer to this question one day. So how about, how about, I want to do something like that. So I'll keep uh, running with this uh, kind of concept. There we go. Maybe it's nonsense to uh, connect them like that, but maybe it does make them actually more stable. I'm not sure yet. So let's uh, do it just like that. I hope that will work out. Alcohol binge. Okay. You do you. It's uh, totally fine that you guys are trying to uh, enjoy your stay in Alpha 1 as much as you can. So here we go. I think that's a just that's just a fine... Uh, basic form for a ship. So, uh, I'd say we do need a entrance and an exit. And let's uh, do this here. Space is already occupied, okay. Then I'm going to do this here. And uh, just uh, how it should be for a proper airlock. It's going to be a little bit of a larger room. There we go. So I hope this is uh, large enough to uh, fit in the most uh, necessary parts here. Oh, here we go. 
there's one thing that just looks bad. Oops. Here we go. That would just uh, look really bad. Let's unpause this. So, uh, well. Symmetry, you know. So I guess it has to be this wide. suddenly uh, start suffering from uh, OCDs when it comes down to your ship design. But I think I have to accept that uh, either I have this uh, crinkle in here or I'll have this asymmetry. <laughs> So, I'll uh, rather have it like that because I really dislike uh, the thought of uh, asymmetry here. I think it's just a cosmetic thing. Yeah. All right, now it's looking right for me, and that's what counts. Okay, so enough of that. I just uh, burned away uh, most of my uh, components and uh, well, no, I burned away more components than I actually own, but that doesn't matter because uh, it's just fine. A spaceship crash side. So uh, let's check out what's uh, what's there, especially since I uh, obviously need uh, items. So uh, all right, the council heirs will uh, go to war here. Recoil. Leo, Rio, all these people here will go now. I'll leave the uh, slurry peats at home and uh, we're going to pick up all that food. Medicine to uh, patch them up and off we go. Well, traveled time is 2.4 days. No, no. Needs more food then. Okay, it's uh, just not possible to uh, whip up more food, I see. This is so strange, this menu. All right, whatever. Let's see. I guess we should be fine somehow. I guess uh, I'll just, uh, I know what happened there. Uh, they're going to uh, be um, on a different diet now. This will solve the problem. Okay, let's check out the ship crash side and see what we'll find there. Because I'm really, really curious here. And uh, after all, the High Council would uh, would uh, do this uh, show here all alone. So therefore, it's okay. Yeah, completely out of components now. Whoopsie. And I'm out of steel as well. Gosh. So. There, there's a, so many uh, spaceship chunks here though. So I'm not too concerned about uh, where I should get those components from. <laughs> not at all. So, therefore, we should be totally fine here. Just hope that this uh, crash site isn't uh, too dangerous here. Olsen is uh, 
food poisoned Rio is uh, berserking just your regular uh, caravan uh, adventure just your regular caravan adventure the uh, food poisoning though will slow down this guy a lot and therefore this whole ca uh, caravan will be slowed down a lot so um well should they run out of food i would be uh willing to just uh, drop down a camp and uh, let them forage a bit on a gelatine super organism it's not hard to uh, fetch food it's just disgusting to fetch food but that's a completely different uh, story all right so before you uh, start repairing things uh, with no, for no particular reason at all, Freeman. Uh, here's the bug again. Where do they uh, drop down the steel, though? Or did I just not notice it there? Oh, whatever. It's not a bug. It's a feature. It's definitely a feature. So. Um, out of power or was just that solar flare depleting my batteries too much I wonder definitely wonder all right so we're going to reach the ship crash site today very curious about what's uh, going to transpire there animal needs rescue ah uh, the rat is uh, high on t on gin again. So when that happens, now she's dropping it right there. It's uh, really weird. It looks like uh, she stops dropping uh, the materials at all. But uh, oh well, whatever. It's confusing me. So let's see what'll what'll happen over there. But I guess the uh, ship crash site is something for the next episode. Ah, oh, looking so good, making me so happy to see that finally uh, progress is uh, happening here on that spaceship. Okay, the uh, the guests did like me. And, uh, well, as usual, if this uh, looks like a crazy suicide mission, I'm going to leave immediately. But uh, if this looks doable, we're going to try and do this. So, um, <laughs> yeah, great. So I think uh, it's uh, about what's within. All right, so, uh, well. It's really, really uh, dangerous and... Uh, threatening situation I could easily lose everybody here so um, yeah I'd say I'll leave uh, the drama and such for the next episode friends because we're almost uh, at the end of today's episode and uh, well larger combat scenarios do take a lot more time more than one minute so thank you so much for watching we're going to roll that in the next episode and uh, feel free to drop me a comment down below, leave a like, leave a subscribe. I'd be super delighted if you do. Until then, let's check out what's inside the ship next episode. See you then. Bye-bye.